two co-equal branches, right? Congress, Article One, President, Article Two. Congress has, members of Congress have an absolute immunity called speech and debate clause, right? For all uses of, proper uses of legislative power. So recent people like Congressman William Jefferson Clinton got in trouble because remember the cold hard cash in the freezer. But whatever you say on the floor, whatever you do oversight wise, whatever you do legislation wise, you're 100% immune. The executive has, in my opinion, even though it's not written quite this way, the very same prerogative. You cannot muck somebody up by virtue of his or her use of constitutional powers because you don't like it. If you don't agree with it, we don't have co-equal branches. And by the way, I'm sick and tired of hearing all this, well, it's a family program, I suppose. I'm not going to use an F word. No, yes, you Okay, can. about all this about King George, because let me tell you something. The notion that the framers were primarily concerned about King George is historically ridiculous. If you look at the, at the framers and the debates, they were primarily concerned about what? Legislative supremacy. They expected that Congress would be the most powerful branch. They wanted to limit it. So they would be very, very unhappy today watching Congress do what it's doing. Now, I'm not saying that they weren't concerned about overly powerful president. They were, but that was not their number one priority. Their number one priority is making sure that the president is not a word of Congress. What is being done today vulgarizes, trivializes impeachment because it's not high crime and misdemeanor.